What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Modern Cube Draft. No, nope, other side? Is it this side? Oh, it is this side. Dang it, that's annoying. Modern Cube Draft on Magic Online. I'm your host, Ira Glass, and this is this Modern Cube Life. I'm going to take Draga Tree Speaker here. We haven't gone green very frequently here, but uh, if we get a chance to first pick a green soul ring, I think it's a good choice to do it. Wow, easy shrine. Wow. Hmm. Oh, two for duplicate. All right. Well, you guys have uh, clearly differing opinions than I do. I'm going to go with the green soul ring. Yeah, I might just go with the green... Uh, green single ring. I don't know. I got nothing here. It could also be Eldra Eldra Eldritch... I was going to say Eldrazi Evolution. I think it's... Maybe this card's good. I don't know. Let me fix that. That's better. That was going to kill me. That was going to get on my nerves forever. Uh, I'd rather take the, the Mana Dorks than the Finx. Finx is pretty replaceable. Whereas one mana guys are uh, harder to come by. Hornet Queen. That's the kind of payoff you want in the ramp deck, so we're going to take Hornet Queen. Actually, surprisingly hard to deal with in this cube, I think. Yeah, heroes for go. I also like Acidic Slime because, boy, do I want to be killing their things. I'm just going to take all the green cards and, and make these people realize that green is not an option, my friends. If this Nissa comes back, so be it. Maybe we'll, we'll splash it, but... Vengevine, I do not care about. Probably Verdant Catacomb? Maybe Flooded Grove? Yeah, if you guys don't know, I always sign up for YouTube videos when I'm done recording. Um, so if I say goodbye, it's not because I'm leaving. I'm saying goodbye to the YouTube audience. So, Just something to keep in mind. Mystic Snaku, I don't think is in this cube. I guess that's less playable in Modern than something like... Uh, Vengevine is actually very good. I can't even tell if that's true or not. Comb it up? Oh, Catacomb it up. Hmm. Neros, have a good night. I'm going to take Vengevine. I'm going to try it out. I haven't actually played Vengevine yet. And I think the value of trying Vengevine over taking just a Verdant Catacomb is high for me. Yeah, like, we have two creatures we can cast right into a Vengevine, which is pretty nice. Oh, this is the Garrick you want. This is also the Lotus you want, but uh, we're going to take the Garrick. Oh, uh, we didn't take the Simic Artifact Cozer because we have no blue right now, and I have no no incentive to be blue based on the Trigon Predator when I can just as easily... I also have an uh, Acidic Slime, so... No, I'm good. I'm good. This pack's interesting. This is one of the better Chandra's. You can play lands, you can just pick things off with it. I like Fleece Man Lion. I like Vanishing Lion. Hunter, stop! It just keeps licking, man. I mean, I'd rather have Banishing Light than Lion. Banishing Light it, it is just a, a... It does a thing that I'm more interested in doing. Huntmaster of the Fells also does a thing. So does Sky, Sky Sovereign. Hmm. Huntmaster or Sky Sovereign? Tom to Tom Tom! Thank you so much for the sub! I need to get a sub-hype emoticon. I kind of like Sky Sovereign because it does hit Planeswalkers, which is... It's your boy. 
Also, I'm pretty sure there were two fetch lands in that pack. Is that right? No music for subs? What? The, didn't the... I heard it. You guys didn't hear it? Oh, I have the desktop audio off. Oh, that's my bad. Oh, that makes sense. It makes sense why you guys couldn't hear all the other stuff I did. This deck looks great so far. I had the desktop audio muted, which is why... Alright, well, that's awkward. Um, Eldritch Evolution, I guess? Alright, I'm going to open trade with this person and assume they are friendly. Otherwise, it gets real awkward, right? Oh, oh my god. Oh. I'm missing valuable... Come on, load up. What the hell? Oh, my God. That was real annoying. I'll just take Westvale Abbey, I guess. Oh, my God, dude. Let's move this trade over, I guess. Oh, my God. This is so obnoxious. Okay, we did it. Oh, boy. That was that was a hell of an ordeal. Um, It's probably a braid here. Trigon Predator, I don't think any of these are great. Colonnade, sure. Oh, Castle Wolf Run came back, so that's that's pretty good. That's a thing. Garrick Relentless, a, a, a dude we always open. Oh, here's a Karn. That's actually exactly what we want for this deck. I don't want to ramp into a Karn. Put you in the side, put you in the side. I'm going to put all these in the side. They're all very good. We can be blue, white, or red with these. But Westvale Abbey is actually reasonably playable. So is Karn, in case you guys didn't know about... What you know about Karn? Nothing. What about Lotus Cobra? I want to take a Lotus Cobra here. What if it's Mimic Vat? Is Mimic Vat the pick? Splashing Red nets us Bloodbraid Elf and a Braid. Could take Windswept Teeth because it lets us play Banishing Light. Actually, it's probably Windswept Teeth, right? That seems good. We can get a Plains into Banishing Light. And we have Lotus Cobra already, so. We can also search for, ah, it's probably Mindstone here. I was going to say we can search for Scattered Groves, but it's probably just Mindstone. Do we want an Immortal Sun when we have Garrick and Karn, though? I don't know if that's what we're looking for. Simic Signet. Oh, all right. Oh. I think I like Celestia Signet or Celestia Charm over Simic Signet. Exiling a big creature. Plus, we don't really have a reason to play th take the Signet right now. We have a good amount of ramp, I think. Terastodon is also an option. I'll take Terastodon. I feel like that's a pretty irreplaceable. Ooh, Progenitor Mimic? Now you're speaking my language. This card's probably too good, right? Uh, I don't think this is a Wrath of God deck, Chief. We are playing multiple mana guys. Alright, now we're Progenitor Mimicking. Uh, I can see playing Spellskite here. I don't care about Strangle Geist, I'll be honest. Like, we're not a deck that's going to attack with it and, like... 
Eh, whatever. I'll just take Spell's Guide. I think it's just a better card. Stirring Wildwood, Staff of Nin, Dismember, and Journey to Nowhere. All of these are good. Good lord, this pack is great. Oh, wow. Mimic on the Hornet Queen seems OP. I'm pretty sure we take the Journey to Nowhere before we take Dismember. I'm going to take Staff of Nin because I'm extremely greedy. Look at this pack, dude. Inferno Titan came back. Nahiri came back. Hero's Downfall. Like, this pack is... I'm going to take the Inferno Titan because it just shouldn't be here. We're not going to play any of these other cards. Hollow Fountain is great. We can get it with the Windswept Teeth and play these blue cards off of it. Wow, that was a... That was a nice little perk. Um... Bloodbraid Elf comes back. None of these cards. We're not going to play Micaeus. Might as well just take the Bloodbraid Elf. Brushland. All right. Making our splash easier. Wrath of God. Sure. Why not? Kithian is just better than Sky March or Aspirant. This deck's looking pretty sweet right now. Ugin. Do we play Karn and Ugin? Oh boy, that seems like gas. Yeah, we're just going to play both. We're basically playing Tron. Mm. I really like Bribery. I don't like the double blue of Bribery. I think I just want Avacyn's Pilgrim because it definitely helps us play white. You guys are saying that over Avacyn's Pilgrim, which actually helps us with the white splash? I mean, I have no desire to play a double blue spell in this deck, so... I'd rather just have Avacyn's Pilgrim here. Yeah, we're going to go Avacyn's Pilgrim. Corsair of Crufix. Feeling good about that Avacyn's Pilgrim pick now because it gets us a third pick, uh, Corsair of Crufix. Yeah, that was an easy pick. I don't really have to fight about that. <laughs> shorten, shorten, mama's little baby love shortening bread. Do you have my coast or reclamation sage? That is, these are the questions we ask ourselves. I mean, we're trying to we're trying to have a light splash, a light white splash. I don't really want to cast out here. I'm I'm trying to minimize our splashes. I like Rex Sage a lot, but Coast is good too because it lets us help with this blue. I think it is Rex Sage though. Chalice could be good. I don't think we need to be a battle sphere. We have a lot of a high top end right now. I'm just gonna take the ever flowing chalice here. Disenchant is a card that I often lament not having, but we do have Reclamation Sage and Acidic Slime and Trigon Predator right now, so. Probably just gonna take Gideon Jura. Cyclonic Rift is actually probably perfect for this deck, right? Yeah, we're taking Cyclonic Rift. Like we're gonna ramp into it, and that's and then we're gonna play Cyclonic Rift, and then we're gonna wipe the whole board. Rishkar's expertise. Oop. 
Um, I like Aether Sphere Harvester. That's just a guy to have in the sideboard if we need it. More like Wolfier, Wolfier Silverheart. All I want to do is get the six man in this deck. That's all we want to do. Probably cutting Vengevine, unfortunately. This doesn't seem like a Vengevine deck as much anymore. Pilgrim's Eye came back, though. And Pelucranos. I think I want Pilgrim's Eye over Pelucranos, though. We have a lot of, lot of high end. I'd rather just make sure I hit my mana. Add a car waste. That is actually uh, playable. I see many player is a card I don't mind having, I guess. I don't know. A card advantage. What are you saying right now? We have we have Hornet Queen, we have Ugin, we have Progenitor Mimic, we have Staff of Nin, Rishkar's Expertise, Garrick. How do we not have card advantage? We have Corsair of Crucifix, Pilgrim's Eye. We have to make one cut here and maybe put Vine Venge Vine back in if we want to. I don't think we do. I think we can board in Trigon Predator, which just makes our mana worse. And we also have Rex Sage and Acidic Slime in the deck already, so. All right, All right. Waste, Brushland, Celestial Colony. I forgot about the Celestial Colony, that's kind of funny. So for Pilgrim's Eye, we want one of each. So 10, 11, 12, 30, 20, 15, 16, 17, all right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12 white sources, which or 12 green, which seems like plenty. Uh, white, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which seems like plenty. <laughs> and blue, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, this seems good. Banish out? Why would we ever take Banishing Light out? I think Banishing out Light out over Trigon Predator, which is the third card of its type that does that ability. That seems weird to me. I will respectfully disagree. Join. All right, I will play first. Look at this hand. Ah! Keep it. <laughs> All I gotta do is survive for Progenitor McDuplicant. You didn't see the free white splash with our like six white sources, including Lotus Cobra uh, and Avacyn's Pilgrim, so like eight white sources. You're crazy. Oh, all right. All right, I'm getting a little... Getting a little... Getting a little pilgrimy. Going on a little pilgrimage here. Oh, we're definitely getting a... Another forest. Mono forests. For days. 
You're dead. Drag a tree speaker off the top. Forest off the top. Mom's little baby love shorten and bro. Oh, they didn't level that up. I uh, I can only assume that means you're going to do some shenanigans. Got to keep that counter spell up. Boy. Tempted to banishing light it just so they can counter it, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Let's counter this so you can level up your guy and then... I see. It's actually better because now we get to duplicate that guy. Oh, interesting. They kept three men up again. Right. Nothing is resolving. Or is everything resolving? I guess we'll find out. Nope, the answer was nothing. Nothing is resolving. Sure. Well, I guess we're getting discard tidings. No respect. Unless they have Snapcaster Mage. It's not a Snapcaster Mage. It is just a Mind Stone, which is admittedly less impressive. That's pretty cool. Living on a prayer. We're in an end of turn cyclonic rift. It makes our banishing light bad, but. We can mimic the pilgrim's eye, you're not wrong. We're halfway there. Guys, I'm living on a prayer right now. Would you like to take my hand? We'll make it. I swear. Let's hope we don't have two. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Oh, Eugene, you filthy mongrel! You filthy mongrel! You did it again. Eugene, you old salty dog, you. Uh, I guess we're gonna say. Three. You got it. Nonbo? I don't get it. What's a nonbo?
Eugene, you old salty dog, you. The Pilgrim's Eye is still alive. He can banish it? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? A, banishing light says target permanent opponent controls. And B, they have a Mind Stone that we're just going to target. Do you guys think we're going to have to banish our own Ugin? Like, that's weird. There's no way that guy resolves, right? Might as well try, right? <laughs> I guess it does. I guess it resolves. Sweet, nasty, terasty. You, you old dog, you. Should have saved Ugin? What does that even mean? For what? What are you saying right now, Dustall? If it resolves, then we want a negative zero. Oh, wait, what? No, I would make my own. I would I wouldn't I wouldn't kill their lands. They have like seven lands. I'm just killing three of my nine lands and making three beasts. I'm trying to win the game, not keep them off uh their sixth, seventh, and eighth mana. I got a game to win, boy. We're halfway there. I kind of want to bring Gideon Jura in here. But not really, I guess. Maybe Vengevine, but not really, I guess. You know his deck a good one a deck is good when a curve extends off the screen. You're like, how much farther you got over there? Alright, seems good. Yeah, I think this deck is fine. Oh, we did it. This hand is golden. Golden hand! Blowing up three lands will cause a concession, which is faster than being down. Also, casting a Terastodon uh, will cause a concession. So, you know. Look at our two level uppers. Leveler upperers. Is this a turn three Staff of Nin? Yes, it is. If that, if that works out. And then we get to shoot that that dude I guess we'll I guess we'll burn burn a mana I mean I feel pretty good about having five mana right now so 
We did see Scatter to the Wind and Spell Queller. Spell Queller is not an option here. Dude, I feel like we're playing we're playing Tron here. Oh, that's all right. So Scatter is no longer an option. Oh boy, oh boy. Shoot you, little baby. <laughs> Ooh. Nailed it. You got it. You got it. Let's draw two cards, one of which is a land so we can Karn. How about that? Eh, might as well hit a land now. Tapping out in the face of six mana seems terrible unless they, I mean, like, if they have nothing, they have nothing, right? Like, what are you going to do? Hey, what are you going to do, you know? Living on a prayer, take my hand. I mean, we're trying to keep them off their own cyclonic rift, I think. Because that's one of the only cards that is actually going to... Uh... It doesn't even really do much against us, I guess. We have enough lands to really survive, and we can just play our whole hand out in one turn again, so... That's pretty okay. It's pretty okay. I mean, we just get to exile that, though. Meh. There's a Staff and In battle over here. Next up, I have a Karn, but... You know. Uh, we're not going to restart the game when they have Staff of Nin, but... Who's my one-eyed friend in the bottom right? Oh, that's Fibblethib. He's totally lost right now. I feel like our board is good. All right. Well, I guess our opponent agrees. Hey, Frank, I just found out the decaf coffee is decaffeinated with a compound that is also used in anesthesia. And because I've had so many sugar surgeries that require anesthesia, decaf coffee makes me incredibly tired. That's interesting. Our deck seems good. Take my hand, I will make it, I swear. I think we can keep this. Turn two chalice. I get a relaxation. Do, 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 do. I hate that Everflowing Chalice even has a cast option. I mean, it's going to come up, right? 
like you're going to want to play it for zero to enhance a storm count in some awkward games, right? But really, it's just awkward most of the time because you're like, yeah, I'll cast this. Ooh, hello. Hello. Boy, that was a good draw. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven mana next turn. Just top deck a Karn so we can turn three Karn. Turn four Karn. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. So if we play this, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we can do that. They don't even make it no clues. I ain't afraid of no clues. It's not even how the Ghostbusters song goes. Just making up his own song now. I ain't afraid of no goats. You know, I ain't afraid of no goats. And that's true. That's true. Let's play a Garuk. One, two, three, four, five. Let's hunt primally. Oh, that's a good card. I'm not a fan. I don't like it. Progenitor Mimic one time. That's all I ever wanted. That card's actually real oppressive because now we can't keep pressuring Gideon. Uh, first match was a blowout. We crushed. Actually, I would also take a uh, Cyclonic Rift, a Karn. Terastodon is fine as well, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll play this guy. Yes, we'll add a green. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, kill Gideon. Kill this thing. Kill green. This is a good way to pressure Gideon. I don't know if you guys knew about the uh, the Terastodon. What you guys know about Terasti? Oh, goats up close and personal. Ghosts up close and personal are pretty terrifying, but ghosts, man, they are incorporeal. What can they do, really? Nothing, that's what. Oh, that's a good... Wow, you're getting real sassy with some ghost, Toku. I understand, though. I get it. I wonder if that, that sassiness is derived from fear. Fear of... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is just getting worse and worse for our friend. Tin Man, you out of here, buddy? Have a good night if you are. Oh, no. Rexage is last card in hand. Oh, boy.
this is problematic, but. I just want to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana right now. I just want a Karn, that's all. I really don't want to take any, way any, more, any more of our lands, though. Uh, Terastodon cannot kill creatures. That would be utterly insane if it could. The Lord for the night time. All right, what do we do now? How many elephants is too many? Do we just do we just blow up all our own stuff and just say forget it, forget about it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, we'll have a 9-9. Nine, nine. I guess we can only get rid of one, which is fine. I want to keep Duplicate alive just in case we hit uh, Progenitor Mimic, which is another out for Angel of Sanctions. Okay, Amped using the mic and the bee next to each other is actually hilarious. <laughs> Kind of love that. We actually should be leveling this up, to be honest. Because uh, then this makes Reclamation Sage a lot better. <sighs> Stop killing my friggin' Terastodon, dude. And we have, we go to eight, we have a card. We go to two, we have a card. We have two cards. We have two two top decks. Two top decks. Elk Tears, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Oh, no attacks. Three cards now. No, what are you doing? Don't do that. Well, I'll do that, but not yet. All you need is love. Wah, 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 wah. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. Oh, I like this. We're in this. I like. I like the stalemate we're in here. One. Two. Three. Do I care about Pilgrim's Eye? Probably not, right? This is a pretty easy fetch here. Oh, Rishkar's Expertise? Looking good!
Green. Green. Level you up. Oh, there we go. Just making sure that worked. <laughs> Did they give me daughters? All right, they played another land. I love it. Love it. Ooh, a bold strategy, Cotton. Uh, nope, not gonna pay for that. A banishing light? How sweet! What a treat. Pay five. One, two, three, four. Oh, we gotta pay one more for the thing, so. One day I'll make a beast out of you. Dude. Be a beast, you must make my raging fire. Oh, they saw the progenitor because I drew a card. I was so greedy. Where's a plummet when you need it? Mysterious as the dark side of the moon. I would bring in the Aether Sphere Harvest, but we already have Sky Sovereign, so meh. I think our deck is actually very good. I mean, the only thing we saw that was redirectable was the Angel and the Journey. Maybe Spell Skite's good, actually. It also blocks a bunch of stuff. I'll 41 it with a Spell Skite. We can also sack a Spell Skite to get a Core Surf Crew fix. That's pretty good. Gideon's double white, so I'm a little reluctant to play Gideon. I... Oh, yeah, this hand is gravy. Go, 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 gravy. That's a gravy song I just wrote. I'm going to keep this hand because, boy, is it good. I want... Ch oh, yeah, now we can play Chalice on two. I want to play Chalice over Cobra because Cobra still requires us to play a third land first on turn three. I want to play Courser and then play our third land in case it's on the top. Where the hell were you last turn, you stupid nerd? What are you even doing here? You don't even go here. <laughs>
Oh, that's annoying. But I'll deal with it. Of course, there's not going to be a land on top because we just drew... Oh, there's still a land on top. How, how nice. And another land on top. So many lands on top. This is also six mana, so we can just cast Rishkar's Expertise. We only draw two cards, though. That's pretty bad. How greedy do you want to get? Well, not very greedy at all, actually. I could just take six here. All right, well... I think we're just way behind right now. Maybe we bring in Wrath of God against this deck. That would be comical, right? What if we just get more aggressive and we bring in Wrath of God and... Uh, the other one. So I think six, go to 12. We're not dead, but... One, two, three, four, five. We're one away from this, which I might even cast to to play Wrath. We're just gonna play this for now. Yeah, I can definitely see bringing Gideon and Wrath in. That actually seems good. We'll just we'll just spec heavier white. Yeah, just start that. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Take, put me to three. At least we got a turn to we can block, 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 block here. Presuming they don't play like another fat daddy, which they always do. God, always with the fat daddies. Oh, that's a floating fat daddy. Why aren't you an enchantment, you stupid dummy? Uh, one, two, three. We're just going to play a land. Draw two, I guess. Yes. Green. Gross. This is a lot of land we're drawing. I don't think they can attack with Banisher Priest, so I think we're safe to block with Avacyn's Pilgrim. Can't crack Windswept Heath, unfortunately. Well, it was more like an acidic slime for six mana that drew us two cards, which is actually significantly better. Yep, we just get to eat a dude. Four, Five, six, seven. Actually, Karn would be pretty good. Uh, we don't have enough mana for Ugin, unfortunately. Yeah, we definitely want Wrath of God for this deck. Forest. All right. Well, this match was utterly a failure. Like, I mean, not this match, this game, rather, because we just drew a million things that we didn't want. Wrath of God comes in. Gideon Jura also comes in. Take the Elvish Mystic out. We want to just lower the amount of guys we're going to be throwing away to a uh, I'm going to add two more planes. I don't know what. Oh God! What did they add instead? Another another green. Harvester does seem pretty okay, actually. 
I got Terastodon. Sand's pretty rough with no white whatsoever. Yeah, we can't keep this sand. This is better, but still not good. Like, I don't know how we're drawing. Like, we draw like six. Oh, Duplicate's one of our best cards. <laughs> it gets sort of Banisher Priest. It gets sort of Angel of Sanctions. Like, it's one of our few answers to those ridiculously problematic creatures that they have. Well, no one drop is good for us. No two drop is good for us. Well, this seems like it's going well. Staff of Nin seems like it's bygone bishop. No three drop is good for us. I think we're getting a second white here. Doesn't our deck just crush in the late game? Ah, oh, I see. Hmm. Intriguing. Getting real tired of these. Getting real tired of these lands, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands to five spells. Not ideal. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, we're duplicating that for sure. Oh, another land. How good. But I think he's rather tasty. I feel like I need to live until I have the time. One jump, hello, one land, one, scoop doop, scoop a doopy doopy doo, reclamation sage. Wow, <laughs> this has been great. Yes, please. I wish I didn't keep top decking lands. That's everything. I will take seven if that's what you prefer. <laughs> Reclamation Sage might be the thumbnail actually. Yeah, I think we can wait to kill this. Four mana, what can it be? Nothing, end step. <gasps> I will play land first, just in case they have some kind of attack shenanigans that they don't want to... Uh... They can't have Avacyn. Are there any other haste, any other flash white creatures they can have? I can see them having Valorous Stance for our Courser, but I don't know why you'd let me...
Rex Sage for president 2020. He's, he's got my vote. <laughs> he's a hard worker. He's doing the people's work. Oh, I see. Actually, this is fine. Unless you double block. But I guess that's still fine. We have Ugin. You're literally looking at an Ugin. I don't think they're settled in this cube. I guess they could go block, block, and then it keeps getting alive. But that's life. Oh, I knew you were going to double block. It's so gross. I'm still a big fan of playing Staff of Nin, killing Ugin, or killing uh, Gideon and drawing an Ugin next turn. Seems okay. God, Staff of Nin has been like the best card in the cube ever. Who is Nin? Nin the Pain Artist? Is that the card? I don't care about that. I don't care about your pain. What do you do when you like you know your opponent just has Ugin sitting on the top of their deck? That's got to be bad, right? I also like if we play Ugin, we can actually shoot this with Ugin and shoot this with Staff, and that's the old 1-2 punch. The old 3-1 punch, I guess, if you will. What can it be? Nothing. End step. <laughs> that was good. That was a good clip. I like that one. I like that I'm watching clips of myself and I'm like, oh, that was good. What you did there was that. That was good. Congratulations. You did a funny thing. I feel like, what, what kind of tanking could you be doing right now? You're like, well, they're playing Ugin next turn. All their permanents are artifacts. Don't get got with mana tithe. I'm going to try not to. Apparently I'm taking six here though. I don't think they'd take this long if they had mana tithe, right? Like you just be like, all right, play this guy, smash in for six, mana tithe, you're, you're Ugin. I got a good feeling about the, the lack of mana tithe that's happening here. We could also just... Banishing Light something. <laughs> Did it again. Did it again, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Seems good. Plus, if they have, like, one of their typical, you know, one of your white cool, your cool white removal spells, like a Banishing Light... I got, I got it too, bro. Yep, that's what we're, that's the thing. Look at this reclamation sage doing the Lord's work here, man. You got it. This guy doesn't have any friends to pair with. Can you believe it? Oh, he found a friend. But I got a soul, I got a staff in on board. I'm confused by your choices. I will block. And then I will kill your friend. You either die a hero of Akros or you live long enough to see yourself become exiled with Ugin, I guess. I don't know. I feel like there's a level of card advantage here on our side of the board that is just not... It's not really comparable. Remember someone in the chat was like, all you need is some card advantage. Can I have my friend back? Oh, we couldn't even shoot the paladin fast enough. All right, well, 
This deck is fun. Let's try to 3 0. Can we do that? Alternate timeline, Chad, Gillian of Akros. That's good too. Oh, this hand is pretty hot garbage. Oh, this is worse. Oh, this is just fine. This is all we ever wanted in hand of Magic the Gathering cards. Remember the time I was like, let's see if we can 3-0, and then we have to mold a 5 and get a 5 land hand? Seems good. Well, we had a good run. Okay. Believe in the heart of the cards here. Top deck, Courser of Crewfix. Yours is better. Okay. Well, that gives us a little end game, I guess. I don't know. Now we're gonna now we're gonna top deck the Courser of Crewfix because then we're gonna play a land off the top. Okay, just a land. That was close. My mistake. Oracle of Moldiah. Yep, there you go. Chicken on the top. Two lands off the top into a chicken off the top. Wow, that's pretty good. If only we had a creature that was more than, oh, I don't know, one power. <laughs> Such is life, I suppose. What's a six drop we want to hit right now? Oh, Vraska off the top. Ah, the old Jund Ramp deck that is better than our Bant Ramp deck, I guess. What's a good draw? What, what just happened? Did you just cast? Okay. Wow, this is your hand? You got a Chandra Pyromaster now that I have Elvish Mystic on the board? Look at all these. Wow, look at all your removal. Banefire, Chandra, Mizium Orders, and you have a, a chicken in hand. What did you just do? You just bane fired it for one? Why would you do that? What are you doing? Well, this is like a fun, this is, we having a good time? This is a little game? I don't get it. So, mortars. Well, unfortunately, all of our things die to, uh, a ruinous path. So we know three, two of their, two of their sick, their eight cards in hand. Good lord. Oh, they also have Vraska, right? Oh, wow. Sometimes you just have more than one different kind of Chandra, I guess. Okay, we're having a good time. <laughs> uh, like you do. Is there a way I can sacrifice this? I don't think so. I'll just copy your slow and carry added so we can get a carry added every single turn. It's a lot of mana, right? Uh, this is my third one, so I'm probably not doing another one after this, but I will be getting some food after this if that interests you anywhere near as much as... My god, look at all this... This movement, this moving and shaking that they got a cascade bluffs in there. You got some blue, some double blue cards in there too. No idea what you're counting. Nicobolus. Oh, boy. Well, if that's not the best start I've ever seen. 
Spoiler alert. It might be. All right. Well. Boy. I'm going to take this Elder's Evolution out of here. <laughs> Hungry Owie's bot. Oh, crying out loud. Oh, this is a real thing. I am going to bring in... Uh, does Wrath of God hit Planeswalkers, do you guys know? Are they considered creatures in this game? I don't know. No beats. Have a good night, buddy. Probably Vengevine. Vengevine seems good against uh, decks that have creatures that attack me aggressively. Or Planeswalkers, rather. That's what I meant. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. I got a Vengevine. Most day of judgment effects don't. <laughs> I hate you. I try not to, but it's really you make it difficult sometimes. So. Utopia Sprowl. Okay. Okay. I mean, you got like a five color deck, so might as well make the right choice. This is so many lands. I'm really surprised the amount of lands we've been drawing. Loving the sleek updates you've been making to the stream. What are you what are you referring to, buddy? I don't know what you're talking about. So we can go one, two, three, four, two. Can't do that. So I guess we're just gonna cast. Seems okay. Oh, it's old chicken and another land. Hmm. We're going to play Chalice here because if we get to... Uh, if they end up killing our Vengevine somehow, it's a pretty good card to trigger the Vengevine. I don't want to attack, though, because then they just get a Phoenix token, and then they just get the Phoenix back with haste. So it really doesn't do anything for us. It's a good card. You kill Everflowing Chalice here? It's rude. You're not a good person. It's a good card. All right. Did it. Now we got there. The about to go live countdown. That's new, isn't it? The totally lost start in the box. Uh, yeah, both of those things are new. I was just totally lost on what you were referring to, that's all. Uh, it's also not totally lost. That His name is Fibbletip. I don't know if uh, you just don't know how to remember names, because that seems rude, but uh, he has a name. Would you like to trade? No, 
That's right. All right. I can see them just not playing anything here. It's totally fine by me. Also, if they attack with Huntmaster, I'm pretty sure I'm going to uh, block it and shoot it. Blocks and shoots and blocks and shoots and blocks and shoots and blocks and shoots. Oh god, Nickel Bolas. Ruinous Path on my Venge Vino. Okay. That's significantly less bad. Here's hoping drawing two cards is good for us. That one's not. Get the Venge Vino back. Feeling good about things now. I get to kill Venge Vine. That's fine. We'll be back with our streaming today. I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I can't say. I know that it's 7 p.m. and I'm probably going to get some food, like I mentioned. So I won't be here in a minute. Um, but I don't know if I'm coming back later. I can't say. The only thing I can guarantee you guys as far as my streaming schedule is that I will be here Monday through Fridays, uh, as far as I know, for now, at 2 p.m. Eastern. Anything that might just be – anything after that might just be random. So – Yeah, that's pretty unfortunate. No cards in hand, though. I guess that's good. I will take two. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh boy, we just we hit a doozy, boys. Uh, I have no other job. No, I write, I make content, and I stream for for a living. That is my job. It's the best play here. I mean, I like, I like Sky Sovereign right now just because it does kill Chandra right away. And then we can keep up blocking capabilities. That seems good. Also, we have Cyclonic Rift, which is pretty ridiculous. I think it's actually better than Ugin right now. Ugin won't kill Mountain, but, like, Ugin does go up to 9. And we do get to kill Chandra. We can probably chump block this guy. We have a blocker for here. I think it's actually Ugin instead. Five, six, seven, eight. I've convinced myself to play Ugin. It's worth noting that we have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 mana, so we can actually go 7 and 5 next turn. Uh, Ugin plus Staff does kill Mountain, but I'm more concerned with the recurring card advantage from the Chandra. I have been extremely impressed with Staff I've been every time I draft it. Here comes the Nickel Bulls. Avenger of Zendikar. We just you see Cyclonic Rift on top though, right? Nine, ten, eleven. 
this is an interesting situation. Do we bounce any guys with haste? Does it matter? I don't think so. All right. <clears throat> well, we got one more to go. Do we have any more cards that kill Planeswalkers? Bloodbird Elf is good against Planeswalkers, but boy, do we have no... I guess we get Stomping Ground for Windswept Teeth? Hmm... Now we have Lotus Cobra. How deep do we go here? I really want to bring an Inferno Titan too, but that seems real bad. <laughs> this deck is getting weirder and weirder. <laughs> oh, man. Now we can get a... Yeah, all right, sure. We can get a mountain with our Pilgrim's Eye. Gives us all the colors. Oh, our opponent went to five on the draw. On the play, rather. I always say the draw. I don't know how magic works. Okay, well, this hand looks good. You're fashionably late, but I will accept your... Your offer nonetheless. That was pretty good. One, two, three, four, five. So next turn we can play Garrick instead. We can actually play Lotus Cobra into Garrick. Sure, let's do that. This deck is probably the gassiest deck I've ever had. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, now we're going to... Can we kill that? What if we go land Lotus Cobra? What if we go Lotus Cobra? One, two, three, four. And we're one shy of just one, two, three, four, five. I guess we could put Chandra to one here. Oh, I'm not going to play Lotus Cobra. That's stupid. I should have just put her to one. I was like, ooh, I can play Lotus Cobra. But then I'm like, oh, she's a Chandra, so. I mean, we can just play Karn next turn and get rid of her. I assume they're going to exile here for free. Sure. So we can go one, two, Lotus Cobra.
Lowe's code where we play fetch land, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not enough, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Now he's only netting two. Actually, we're netting two from this, aren't we? Yeah, never mind. That works. Uh, red. Planes. Yes, green. Go ahead. Don't draw a black land. No black land is what we're looking for here. No land that produces black mana. Okay. No other land. Oh, it's actually, you said blue. All right. And it's only one, two, three, four. Yeah, if you played a land here, you'd be in good shape, I guess, but... Could we have kicked this? Did we have this up? That would probably have been better. I agree with your... Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. Now you have the Vraska mana. I mean, you... Oh, Vraska got Exile. Never mind. I keep thinking this is in your hand. This is not in your hand. I don't care about that. Boros Signet. Yep, add a green. Feels good. Yeah, I don't know why I kept thinking because I'm looking. I'm used. To, I'm used to putting the cards uh, that are that are revealed in their hand up here. So for some reason, I was like, "Oh, that's in their hand." It's not. Huntmaster's going to flip, which kills either Lotus Cobra or Tree Speaker, which is unfortunate. Or even Bloodbraid Elf. But I do feel like we're in a pretty good position here. I don't know. Call me crazy. That's actually why I cast it, because I was like, oh, I could just be a Trasted on target. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually tempted to Celestial Colonnade here. I think we're going to do. Sure. Blue, white, red. Hmm. We get a Chandra. We got a Chandra with one of them. Elvish Lenore Elf. Oh, all right. We just win the game. All right, fantastic. I guess the uh, the card advantage that we had in this deck cannot be compete competed with. Could not be compete. Yeah, I guess that's. I don't know. That doesn't sound great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you haven't done so, slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.